Part of what I do on the camo matrix is I try to give you a view of how a deer would see you in a tree stand. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different by physically wearing the camo, but taking you into the woods as though a deer is walking through the woods. Now we've got a couple of challenges with that. One is that a deer sees in 300 degrees, where on this camera we maybe have 120 degrees that we can show you. So we're really only going to be showing you about half of what the deer sees. We've also tried this in the past and trying the jerky movements that a deer does when it's looking at you. If you, if you watch them, their heads bob up and down to try to generally get a depth of where you are if, to be able to determine whether or not you're a threat. And they also turn their heads quite a bit. But when we tried that, it, it really kind of created a problem to where it didn't look very natural. So in this version of, of a deer walking through the woods, we're going to just keep the camera stable and we're going to replicate you getting ready for your bow shots. So this is the path that the deer is going to be walking and we're going to give you the shot of basically it's the right side of its head as we move forward. And we're going to stop in this location and let you see where the deer stand is. But as we move, we're going to be preparing in the tree stand, we'll be preparing for the shot on the deer and it'll move forward this way until it's in my primary bow shot location. But I'll be putting on this pile of camo and climb up, climbing up and down the tree so that you can get an idea on how different camo might look to the deer uh, because we'll be shooting this in deer vision. We'll be showing you that 2100 blur and also converting the colors to what a deer would see as it's walking through the woods. So I just want to give you a typical walkthrough of what's going on here while I'm getting up there wearing that Scree Solace pattern and let you know where I'm at. I'll be starting out and giving that arrow of where I'm starting, but I stand during this initial movement and then I'm waiting for that ideal time to make that bow draw movement, which is going to be during this last movement, and then there'll be a bow shot. That'll be typical for each one of these, and we'll review them in another video in the future. You can see that since this is a backlit setting that the patterns really don't define that well in the image. So it may be something that if you're hunting a similar scenario, you may want to be as close as you can to the tree trunk that you're hunting on so that you're more part of a tree than you are out just hanging on that platform. And take a look at how well this blaze orange does. I really feel like it really disappears in there and that if you think that blaze orange really gives you a way to your prey, take this is this video is really the, the proof that you know it works the way that it's supposed to and it keeps you safe. So Hotshot Gear provided the Realtree Edge, the ghillie suit, and also the 3D leafy suit. So, you know, thanks to them and, you know, be sure to, to check them out. They've got a good number of hunting products uh, that are available. Links up here in the top right corner uh, and also in the description. So uh, if you want to support the channel and, and buy some gear uh, that's similar to that, check them out.
while I put this 3D leafy suit on, I just want to say that I will reshoot this after the tree stand uh, while I'm standing on the ground so it gives you a different perspective since the, those are meant for more of a uh, tight cover or a close encounter type situation. And just as I do with the camo showdowns, I'm trying to present these as equally as possible so they're all shot the same way. And we're not trying to make one pattern blend into the background and reposition and, and show how another pattern stands out. We're trying to be as equal as possible. And once you've watched this, go back and watch these little simulations again and try not to look directly at where the camo is because remember the deer aren't focusing in on you as they're walking in and see if you can pick up that movement or pick out that shape without actually looking directly at it to see how effective they are. Now, of course, this ghillie is still somewhat in the open, but I mean, I'll say that as far as a human shape, it really conceals what you are. And if you are immersed in some cover, I think you're just going to be completely undetectable. This will be the footage that the deer walk was based off of. And thanks for watching this little experiment that we tried. Comment below with your thoughts and any concerns or questions you may have on how we did it. And remember, the best camo is to remain still and be quiet.